To me, uh, in our lighting business, probably more than any of the other markets we serve in, we do run into a lot of this. It's it's kind of not us mentality, right? We don't have a problem, mm -hmm. and and I and I think the 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 scary piece about that is we have as EXO have been involved as expert witness. I think maybe even before your time with us. Um, really sad story. A, a kid here, a, a young family here in Texas. There was an eight-year-old boy that was going with his parents to go have dinner at a restaurant. And in about a 10 or 15-mile-per-hour breeze, a pole fell over and killed this kid, hit him mm -hmm. um, and killed him. Very unfortunate situation. We were involved as an expert witness uh, because they had the pole inspected. But lo and behold, they had the pole inspected by a lighting contractor. And, and, you know, we, sadly, we see this all the time um, in, the, in the lighting division of our business where, well, I've got a, a guy that does LED upgrades for me or he replaces light bulbs for me. And I know one, one of our real frustrations uh, and one of the things that we really have to educate our clients about is are those the right people that should be inspecting structural components and assets uh, so maybe walk me through that a little bit, um, kind of your, your thought or view on how, how certain clients or potential clients mm -hmm. um, maybe view what they're currently getting related to this infrastructure. Yeah, absolutely. Um, and it's a great question. So, you know, on, on calls and on the meetings that I have with these real tel retailers and commercial real estate guys, it, they do have the not, it's not us, right? It's, it's a, well, pulse fail because of other reasons, cars hit them or, or there's a big storm and it, it's just not the case, Right. Um, and so through conversations, we're able to bring to the forefront that poles fail because they're not maintained, right? And poles fail because they're not designed properly for certain wind zones and things of that nature across the country. Also, you, you put banners and marketing items on these things that, that people aren't thinking of from an engineering perspective. And, and so the aesthetics is something that these clients care of more. And, and through the conversations with big, big retailers, um, they know they have poles fail. Mm -hmm. They just don't want to say why they fell, and they don't want to agree to why they fell until we come in and be able to prove to them through data that these are the reasons that posts fell on a daily basis. And that's a good point you make. Empirically, we get a lot of this feedback from folks that we're talking to of, well, it's only falling down because someone hits it, yeah. right, in my parking lot, mm -hmm. or it's only falling down because it was a hurricane. No. Not the that, case. <laughs> I mean, of, of the millions of assets we look at, uh, very few are falling because mm -hmm. of mechanical damage and uh, winds that are exceeding their design. Yeah, I would say uh, less, than 1%, one, less than 1% are probably failing because of some, some sort of reason outside of natural failure, we'll call it. That's right. right. Yeah. And, and the, so the gross majority, 90, 95, 99% of them are really failing because of poor maintenance programs or, or lack of or a maintenance like, program is probably a better way of looking at it.